Orlando Serrell was just 10 when he received his fateful blow. Me and a couple friends were playing baseball. I was a batter. When I ran to first base, they got through the ball, and the ball hit me on my left side of the head. It was a hard hit, right up in this area, right up in there. And I just laid on the ground. I didn't go to the hospital, didn't get no treatment or nothing. To his surprise, Orlando soon discovered that he could name the day of the week and recall the weather for any date since his accident. February 17th, 1980 is on a Sunday. It was sunshine and clear skies. June 3rd, 1985 was on a Monday. It was hot. March 28th, 1990 is on a Wednesday. Oh, sunshine and clear skies. On a Sunday it was hot. February 2nd, 1985 was on a Wednesday. December 23rd, 1992 was on a Wednesday. December 24th, 89 is on a Sunday. Cloudy. I can't explain it. It just pops right into my head. Somehow, the circuitry in his brain is computing calendar dates. What part of my brain is doing this, I don't know. January 1st, 1957. Tuesday? That's right. March 28th, 1957. Thursday? That's right. Mm. May 30th, 1957. Thursday? That's right. March 27th, 1958. Thursday? That's right. June 10th, 1954. Thursday? That's right. September 22nd, 1954. Wednesday? That's it. December 4th, 1954. Sunday? No, it was okay. a Saturday. How about June 1st, 19... Orlando Sorel is a so-called acquired savant, the term for those who are not born savants, but who suddenly become one through an accident, an epileptic fit, or a stroke. As a 10-year-old, Virginian Orlando Sorel was a very ordinary boy. But on the 15th of January, 1979, he was hit on the head by a baseball, so hard he lost consciousness. Since then, Orlando knows the day of the week and the weather on every date after his accident, without thinking about it. Only now, at our test at the National Institute of Health in Washington, does it become clear that Orlando's knowledge of the dates before his accident is also improving, without any practice at all. I don't really know of a savant who has done that before, has been able to report the events with the dates in the same way. So that's, to me, what's most impressive. August 27th, 1988. Saturday. Right. I was hanging out that night. How about July 4th, 1989? Tuesday. July 1st, Saturday, I was at a friend's house cook. I did cook barbecue chicken. It were part of chicken and legs. January 5th, 1986. Sunday. January 3rd, Friday, I was at my cousin's house doing some recording on some cassette tapes. February 7th, 1983. Monday, February 11th, Friday, it rained that day, had pizza from Domino's, pepperoni sausage. December 11th, 1991. Wednesday, December 13th, Friday, I didn't go to work that day. Okay. What is it about Orlando's brain that allows him to retain the things that most of us would, would discard through even the moments of, of the day? And so I think it's very striking to understand the capacity of the brain. If he can remember all of these details, then can all of us remember you know, much more than, than we are on a day-to-day -day basis? Can just one knock on the head make our memory infinite? Orlando, a janitor at Walmart, shows the researchers where the ball hit him. Scientists have tested him often, and it's been proven that on all the weather data after 1979, Orlando has never made a mistake. October 13th, Saturday, it was cloudy. It had one of those uh, pullover hoods. This part right here was black. And it was cloudy, and this girl that I know went through, across the street to the convenience store. She had on white tennis shoes white socks, blue jeans, and a yellow one on pullover top. And that was October 13th, Saturday, 84, run DMC, Curtis Blower, and the fat boys at the Hampton Coliseum when the people got mugged in the parking lot. Now that's too much stuff to hold it into one brain. We're talking about 20 years ago. So how do you do it? I don't know. So that's on October 15th, it's a Monday. Orlando Sorrell proves that we all have this ability. And that's a profoundly important scientific advance. Not as other people have thought that savants practice in the, you know, constantly day and night, and that's what got it to, the, to the, them to this level, and anyone could practice day and night. No, that's wrong. So firstly was to aim to prove that we all have savant-like skills, 
but our brain deliberately suppresses them.